the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come to pray, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who founded all the commands and your sacred law, of our love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 44, 18 through 21. In chapter 45, 1-5, Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my Lord, and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord, ask your servants, have, your, have you a father or another brother? So we said to my Lord, we have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead. And since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, bring him down to me that my eyes may look on him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant our father said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared. And I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls on him, you will send my white head down to the nether world in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants. So he cried out, Have anyone withdrawn from me? Thus no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him. And so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could, but his brothers could give him no answer. So dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph whom you once sold into Egypt. But now do not be distressed and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to Psalm song number 105. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before him, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with feathers, and he was bound with chains. 
32, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Christ, 
if you are desirous of true life. You're indeed holy and we glorify your God who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love and when his once for his disciples are now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of our blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ has been handed unto us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partake of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed with the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, with all the bishops, with priests and deacons, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, the living bread come down from heaven. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. <laughs> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace and make disciples. Thanks be to God.